All right. Guys, welcome to the Comedy Lottery. How are we doing? Do, 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 do. Thank you all so much for coming next. out. My name is Austin Locke. My name is Demetrius Fields, and today we're joined by Ahmed Al Qadri. Everybody, you. yeah. I knew your name. They dropped them. You dropped them like a No, 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 no. You pronounced it right. You didn't say all. You said Ahmed. Oh, okay, that was okay, great. Okay. Thank and you. And also, Reem Eden, everybody. Thank you. Flying coast to coast. Is, all right, this is the comedy lottery. Dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They're then going to be doing three minutes of stand-up comedy, and then those three minutes of stand-up comedy are going to be judged by this panel of judges right here. We're going to judge them one through ten, and then the three comics with the highest score at the end of the night are going to do one final joke, and then you, yes, you, the audience, is going to decide who's going to go home with the comedy lottery jackpot. The comedy lottery jackpot is all of the money that comics paid to sign up for the show. We give it right back to the comics. Austin, what's the comedy lottery jackpot tonight? $196. $196! $196 is going to one of these people Bro, in this room. That's Hell two yeah. meals in New York. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that's, uh, that's 14 minutes of rent in my town. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, who's ready to live another half hour, guys? <laughs> yes. Right here at the comedy lottery. All right. We'd like to start our show off by having the winner of last week do a brand new three minutes of oh, stand-up sick. comedy to okay. see who gets like the longest streak growing. Right now, it's Jay Turner with just two, so maybe they'll tie it tonight. Without further ado, put your hands together for Brendan Smith, everybody. All right. <laughs> So, uh, guys, I got some pretty big news. One of my best friends in my hometown just came out as transgender. And, uh, no, you don't have to clap or anything. That's fine. <laughs> but they have it rough because they live in, like, deep rural Pennsylvania, so they have to deal with transphobic rednecks every day. And I got to say, I don't get transphobic rednecks. Like, it never made sense to me. Because, like, could you imagine being told you can't be something else by a dude who's dressed up like the woods? <laughs> Like, there are dudes in my town who are like, they're never going to be a real woman. I'm like, you're never going to be a tree, Dale. I don't... I actually... <laughs> I had a heckler, like, get up during that joke recently. A dude in camo got up, and he interrupted my set and said all these hateful things. But what he didn't know is that I'm a camo ally, so I affirmed him by pretending he wasn't there. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I feel like, I don't get when people, like, deny trans people. I don't know. I feel like if anyone has a, a right not to affirm trans people, it's me. Calm down. Calm down, guys. I'm, the reason I feel like I have, I'm, have a right more than anyone is because the first girl I ever hooked up with came out as a transgender man. Which, that means I can't count that anymore. That just, that just means I have less experience with women all of a sudden. That's... <laughs> That just means I've hooked up with more dudes. It's not... I've hooked up with three dudes now. That's not... But I remember, like, when they came out, I was just... I was confused. I was really confused because they said my whole life, this whole time, I've always known deep down I was a man. And I was... I, yeah, I was trying to think, like, were there signs? Were there things I missed? But I, I couldn't think of any, and I was just, like, dumbstruck. I was thinking, like, man, that whole time, that whole time we were together... I was getting pegged by a guy, like, <laughs> like you think you know someone, and then it just, I don't know, I just wish they felt comfortable opening up to me the way I opened up to them. That would have really, I don't know, I'll just, I'll finish with this. I feel like I'm focusing on, like, my personal news, like, my friend's news now, because the new, like, the actual news is so terrible. Like the, new news, like, the news is so terrible that if you die on a wrong day and you're famous, you might not even make the news. Like, the retired pope died a while back, but a lot of people still haven't heard about it because he died on New Year's Eve. Which is sad, but it sort of makes sense if you think about it because popes don't usually wait till the balls drop. Uh, okay, I'm Brendan Smith. Have a good night. Pedophilia. Brendan Smith. We what love a good pedophilia. Bro, starting it strong as hell, dude. Pedophilia. If you had asked me before the set if you were going to do a, a pedophile pun, I would have said absolutely you are. Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt in my fucking head are you going to make that a pun, dude. So fucking funny, Thanks, really. Man. Great <laughs> yeah, you really start, you, when you start the, the, the transgender joke, you're like, uh-oh, where's he going? And then you fucking bring that shit home, dude. Like, yeah. for, seriously. People do think I'm going a different place just based on my vibe when yeah. I talk about <laughs> yeah. transgender people. 100%, yeah. yeah. I look too much like J.D. Vance to talk about <laughs> yeah. trans people <laughs> yeah. without it being an issue, usually. <laughs>
And it turns out you're spreading cheeks for him, dude. And that's, <laughs> yeah. that's the wokest thing you can do. Yeah. That is pretty it cool. Really, really, is. really, really funny side, dude. Thank you for coming back. Thanks, awesome. man. Yeah, yeah. God damn, bro. Starting off the show like that, the first spot is the hardest spot on the show, but just like notoriously. I feel like that was fucking incredible. I have no notes on what you did, bro. That was great. That was great. What do you guys think about Frank? We were supposed to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was because I was thoroughly entertained. Huh? Right. No, that was really funny, dude. Seriously. Like, you do kind of look like a school shooter without the confidence. <laughs> I, like, yeah, he's so the I, guy who makes the discord. Yeah, yeah. He's that guy. And then we talk about trans, we're like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that was good. It's self-deprecating. It was great. Yeah, Thanks, man. Really That's funny. Fun. If there yeah. was like in, like an Ocean Elevens about school shooters, he'd be like the tech guy. <laughs> yeah. I'd be the dude yeah. who doesn't shoot himself at the end. <laughs> like, I hate Democrats and the letter R. Hey. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Too easy. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I love that you talked about getting pegged and are wearing a shirt that says Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like brother. that's the straightest thing you can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You're Honestly. like, they'll never know if my shirt says. <laughs> Very great. I yeah. wrote down pegged and great writer. Thank you. Yeah. That's the, if there's two things people could write down about me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like the writing was really fucking smart. I don't. I can't imagine that would go much better in this room. I'm gonna give that one like a 9.5. Wow. Yeah, oh, high praise. Wow. High praise. Yeah, I'm, I'm going nine. All camp dressed up as a tree. So funny. So funny. Nine. Thanks, nine from Austin. <laughs> and it's out of ten, by the way. So that's actually really high. <laughs> I'm giving you a ten. I thought that was funny Whoa. too. Oh. Thank you. Hey, like just the fact that you could do a trans joke without it being offensive was yeah. mad props. Yeah. Mad props. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> and just like the ages of that Pope's victims. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> yeah. Nine, yes. <laughs> Brendan Smith with an almost perfect <laughs> score. Perfect. <laughs> Guys, give it up for him, everybody. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for our first bucket pull of the night? Yeah. All right, put your hands together for Aaron Tepke, everybody. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm doing really good. I just started a new job. Um, I work in software, and I do stand-up for fun because I love activities where I get to feel isolated as a woman. <laughs> Yay. It's great for me. I do I do miss college. I loved college so much. It gave me so much, you know, like some of my closest friends, a great education, uh, my first pregnancy scare, <laughs> my second pregnancy scare, <laughs> just so much. You guys got a little tight on that, let's be honest. I don't know why we get so weird when we talk about pregnancy scares, because, like, we're all fucking, you know? <laughs> like, let's just be honest. I don't know. My last pregnancy scare, what happened was that we were, like, uh, like get it, having sex, that's how I have sex. And uh, I turned around and then the condom was on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's like the worst magic trick ever. That's so bad. Um, no, it's okay. Um, I I don't know. I know it's I know it's weird to talk about this, but I had like a very like Catholic repressed upbringing, and like I just straight up did not have sex ed. This is not a joke. The way I learned about what sex is was from listening to stand up. So whenever people come to me and are like, "Oh, the public education system is so bad for learning about sex ed," I'm like, "Yeah, but do you know what's like ten times worse? Mike Birbiglia. Like, there are much worse." Things. I don't know. I think it's important to talk about stuff like that. I got I got a call from one of my friends recently, and she was like, "Hey, like, just so you know, like, I'm okay, but I just got out of the hospital. I had a prolapsed uterus. Do you guys know what a prolapsed uterus? Is? I see some men who are like panicked, like uterus, fuck, uh, uterus, uterus, uterus. Um, so a prolapsed uterus is where your uterus just falls out of your body, like a Mr. Potato Head part, just like clean out. Oh. Like, have you ever seen a jellyfish washed ashore? <laughs> that happened to my friend's vagina. <laughs> but she was so chill about it. Like, she was talking to me like a shingle fell off of a roof, just like, yeah, and we stuck it back up there, and I'm ready for winter. Like, <laughs> and you know, I hate to harp on the differences between men and women, but fellas, if your balls fell clean off, not a single goddamn one of you would have played it that cool. <laughs> okay, I'm Aaron. Thank you. Woo! Guys, Aaron Depke. Holy shit. And her friends fucked up pussy. Give it up for her, guys. <laughs> yeah. Dude, did that uh, the condom on the floor thing really happen? 
Yeah, and you know, sometimes people laugh and sometimes they get sad, and that's yeah. what it's all about. <laughs> dude, I hate to break it to you. You got got, dude. You got got. There's no way the condom fell off, and he was like, I just didn't even notice how much better it started feeling all the time. Oh, no, dude. You're a victim. <laughs> I know, and you try to make these things funny, because what else am I going to gain from it? I but... You can get, like, you can settle out of court. You can get, a, <laughs> <laughs> you can gain financially, like, a lot, dude. That's crazy. Condom, of, ooh, magic. Oh, no. Well, uh, you seem to be killing it now. <laughs> uh, thank you. All right. What a uh, terrible way to find out that I need help. Okay. <laughs> um. Dude, it's way too late to be finding out now. Uh, either way, I thought that was great. It was very Thanks. funny. I think like uh, I think the, the jellyfish ball fall off thing, maybe just change it like a ball fell out of sack maybe because it's like a false equivalency. I don't know. There's something a little bit more specific mm -hmm. about it. I think uh, like you got you definitely had us going for sure. I think that was the only one where people were kind of like falling off just a little bit. But I liked it. You liked it a lot. I like the uh, jellyfish. That's it's such a like visceral analogy. Yeah. Very descriptive. I, I really because you can it's a jellyfish on the shore. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's your friend's pussy is what that is. <laughs> it's a like I can you know what I mean? You made us, you made us feel it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I felt some damn pussy on that one. Um, I felt my pussy on the beach, dude. Yeah, but yeah. in a bad way. Um, I have a question. I first, so funny. Thank you for coming back. You're fucking hilarious. Uh, does Mike Birbiglia always get a huge laugh? Because it killed here, obviously. But do it might like do enough audiences know who that is? Um, yeah. Oh, I cool. I feel like you like at clubs, it's usually people who like comedy and want to be there. And like it's specific enough where like even if they don't know him enough it yeah. still works because it's like totally. oh i know he's a comedian that yeah. makes a lot of and sense. everybody likes to feel included that yeah you laugh because you want to seem smart that's actually yeah. really cool that you figured that out um <laughs> condom on the floor guy <laughs> you really want to talk about this yeah. huh <laughs> was it mike perfectly <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane uh, yeah you wouldn't be able to get any money from that guy uh, never mind i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. No, I'm not. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to make bits. Now it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's move on. That what? Was, I enjoyed it. What did you think? Oh. Oh, okay. I, that was really funny. First Thank off, you. I love your hoop earrings. It screams you FaceTime on the bus. So <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, no, what I love... What a male <laughs> comic thing to do. <laughs> uh, on her outfit. Okay, uh, my bad. All right, I'm sorry. You look great. Beautiful glasses. I'm still commenting I love on her appearance. Fine. <laughs> I was gonna go to her set. <laughs> He's like, it's not a comment if I'm complimenting her. Yeah, I, God. <laughs> I know, right? I'm so stupid. Okay, no, that pregnancy scare joke was really funny. Thank I loved you. that one. Yeah, your uh, outfit was good while you were telling it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out, no one yeah. has talked about my outfit yet. <laughs> this is just female on female jealousy. Yeah, yeah, those, no, those, it's those, just you're objectively dressed cuter than me oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, back to you, back to you. Though. Bro, those hoop earrings make it look like you FaceTime on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that dude, the prolapse uterus would be so much funner if you smiled more. And <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just going with the no. But anyways, no. That prolapse uterus was really funny. I, I but I just if anything, I had, I just had questions. The condom on the floor guy. Did, did he have, have a small penis? Cause that's happened, like that's happened to a friend of mine. Or like one time this girl, no, she was, no, hear me out, hear me out. I wasn't in the room. Hear me out. This was what I was thinking was once this girl. To your friend. No, no, this this girl, like one of my friends, she was having sex with this lacrosse player, and then like they were having sex, and then he pulled out, or like he he pulled out, but the condom got stuck in her vagina because his penis was so small. That's funny because lacrosse players usually carry a big stick. Ah. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or maybe I wasn't paid. But other than that, no, that was really funny. I, I really like that. I'm gonna give it a nine. Yay! Oh, nine. I'm very nice. I give everybody. <laughs> I don't. I'm afraid to be mean. Uh, I thought it was great. I liked it. Yeah. I liked a lot of it. But I think the last part of it wasn't finished. But I'm gonna give it that one a seven. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 I can get it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, woman. Speak. Uh, I think it's funny that the guy focused on the condom joke. Uh, what are the mistakes? <laughs> <laughs> Questions. Also, the position? Nah. Uh, I thought it was great. I thought sometimes it's like hit or miss with uh, vagina jokes because it can get a little uncomfortable. But the way you addressed it was more medical. So it was kind of like, oh, look, we, it wasn't overly vulgar or anything. Oh, Not that there's you. anything bad with that. Um, 
So tell me about this condom. That <laughs> <laughs> you was his dick know. small or her vagina tight? We're not sure. Uh, no, great stuff. I thought you also have a really <laughs> you good um, cadence and state presence. I will say that. So it shows that you're intelligent in the way that you're talking about things. So I thought that was a good performance remark. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Damn, that was really nice. <laughs> right. Also, love your jeans. No, okay. <laughs> I'd say eight point five. I'm gonna go eight. I liked it a lot. You're very funny. Thank yeah, you for coming back. Yes. Um, the next comedian coming to the stage, guys, make some noise for Amari. What is going on? How we doing? How we doing? Super excited to be here, man. Uh, I've been doing comedy for a fair amount of time. Uh, I will say though, I have been bombing a lot. <laughs> I've been bombing. I've, I've been bombing so much. One time, I was just like, "Should I run for president?" Like, what? <laughs> What's up with all the bombs? <laughs> no, one time I bombed so bad, I didn't even walk off stage. I just like logged on to LinkedIn. Like, I was like, <laughs> "Shit, <laughs> it's <was> stupid." <laughs> LinkedIn. No, LinkedIn's cool, man. LinkedIn's cool. It, it's weird as fuck sometimes, but it's hilarious when you're looking for a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that fucking algorithm. Like, it knows you. Like, it knows the right gig for you. Like, I was on there one time. I didn't even have to look at this shit. It just fucking, like, like popped up on my recommendations. I was like, ooh. Why the job taught to read Eater? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, let's go. Like, that's me, motherfucker. Like, I be eating all kind of shit. The fuck? Pizza, pickles. Pickles on pizza. Pickles on pizza with some pussy on the side. Like, I eat everything. I eat everything. I'm a top tier prospect for this position. Okay, I got elite references, game footage. Okay, I am the number one draft pick for that shit. Now LinkedIn's cool, man. You should get on LinkedIn. It's, it's just like, the thing is, there's so many jobs for all of us on there. It's super, super easy. Like, literally, I, I went on there one time. I'm scrolling, 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 boom. Krispy Kreme. Donut specialist. I'm like, Pfft. like, we can all apply for that shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's super easy. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, donut specialization. Don't act too bougie for donut specialization. Okay? Like, I, I, look, more, more jobs for me. Okay? <laughs> On top of eating, I am a cream filler connoisseur. I do this shit. Okay? I do this shit. Yeah, man. I, I, I think LinkedIn's cool. LinkedIn's cool. I, uh, <laughs> LinkedIn. So, um, LinkedIn. Fuck. I'm getting nervous. Oh, fuck. No, the thing is, really, with LinkedIn, I, uh, fuck, I'm getting nervous. Fuck. No, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just here to help out because you guys look kind of unemployed, and so I just wanted to. <laughs> I just want to help out. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm nervous. That's it. Thank you. I took him out, that completely like fucked my shit up. I'm like, why am I, I'm not really crying. But. I saw a single tear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 makes me cry, I'm sorry. I thought he was that passionate about donut <laughs> specialization. No, I swear <laughs> it fucked my whole shit up. It fucked my whole shit up, no it was worries. awful. No worries. That was, that, that was so, yeah, an emotional performance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even feel, I was like, are you okay? <laughs> well, I they all love the eater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, from Miami, I've been doing it for about a year. Oh, okay, for sure. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna be uh, too mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little roast on the thing. This is it. Uh, you look like. What does he look like? Never mind. Oh, I, I, I was gonna say the shirt and glasses. He looks like he only wants white women. And oh, <laughs> yeah, the AMC movie. I definitely went to Comic Con this past week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, Asian women. That's <laughs> The AMC movie pass has wreaked havoc on the black community. We <laughs> <laughs> spot a mile away. A mile away. <laughs> Dude, I think um, some notes that I have on you say is like, number one with the bombing thing, I feel like it's very much like inside baseball to like be talking about. I do like, like it, but we're all like comics in this room and I think it was getting more laughs from the comics than the audience members on that shit. But doing so poorly on stage that you have to look for a job is objectively really funny. I think you have great delivery and you're very charismatic. Can you stop crying? I'm not crying. Like, I'm, now I'm sweating. Huh? Now, now I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> 
to you. I love this fucking guy. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, also just don't like say you're nervous. Yeah. I could, I, it was like, yeah, it was just. You, yeah. you started the set with no confidence, like, I've been bombing a lot. Yeah. And that's, I mean, topical, but just have more confidence if you're talking about bombing. Like, sure. be like, yeah. But, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my big note. I feel like opening up, the first thing you told us was like, yeah, I bob a lot. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. put it, it's a funny joke, put it later. You know what I mean? Let I us, you. like, the first thing we hear from you is you going, oh, I'm not good at this. You know what I mean? <laughs> then we're like, okay, that's the only thing we know about this guy is that he's currently crying and he's told us he's bad at comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Put it somewhere else. Overall, though, I think the uh, really like, especially for a year, very, very good. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can add the crying bit to the next time you tell the bomb. Yeah, I'm just gonna cry. Maybe <laughs> the stage and just cry. No, but I, okay, I thought you actually did good. Um, we've all been there in the first year of comedy. We've all said we're nervous on stage or been like, oh, I forgot what comes next. Just don't do it. Just. Gotcha. But the way to avoid that is if you start telling more personal stories because what you were doing was kind of like talking about these like observational general things and that's cool because you were trying to be relatable like we've all been on LinkedIn but I don't really care about that I want to hear about why you were on LinkedIn like were you looking for like comic-con jobs and then you happen to be you know what I mean like so find the actual personal element of that story and tell us that and then you can pepper in your observational stuff about like LinkedIn and stuff and then that way when you're talking from the heart I mean if you forget what you're saying you just keep telling the story because you know the story Cool. The LinkedIn thing is especially funny because that means that you have been doing comedy full time. Since <laughs> <laughs> you've been paying your bills for this year, and you're like, oh no, the gravy boat is going, man. Uh, <laughs> I think also the eater joke was a little confusing because it was like, I thought you were going to make a pussy eating joke, and then you did it. You were just talking about eating food, but you're not like fat. So I was like confused, and then I was like, well, maybe he eats pussy, but then I seen how dry his upper lip was, and I was like, I'm not eating it for real. The real eaters, they got loose, like wet lips all the time. Yeah, look at how shiny his lips are. So shiny. It's because he be eating it. He be, he's in there. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like a score, man, I think that your like your delivery is great, and being charismatic on stage is something that like you can't really learn it like a lot of people are just fucked i mean like this is my face all the time it's a sad situation <laughs> uh, but the, the writing on it was just a little it was too new um and you were too in your head you were talking about how much you were nervous the whole time i'm gonna have to give that one like a, a 3.5 <laughs> Yeah, I, for a year, and obviously, just keep doing it, man. Like, gotcha. seriously, like you have, you're likable as hell, really, like, charming and stuff, but yeah, yeah. The more you do, the less nervous we'll get. I'm gonna give it a six. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm not trying to make fun of you. You look like you're very passionate about anime, and there is some anime con comedy nights, so if you are passionate of it, maybe you could try Comic-Con or anime comedy. Not, like, full-time, but, like, just something, like, that you're more passionate yeah, about. Right. You might yeah. find your room to give you more confidence. Cool. Uh, there was another thing that I forgot. Oh yeah, the the pickle pep. Yeah, I thought he was going for like an onomatopoeia, like like a wordplay joke. So you could could have just added more. Like, like, like pickle pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was like pickle pussy pepper puppy, like something like a bunch of peas oh, on it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of help. You know what I mean? Uh, puppies. I don't know. Wait, what he, did, he did say pussy at the end. He just yeah. he said it quickly, so no one heard it. Oh okay, that makes I heard sense. It. I yeah. Heard the pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy. I'm more of an ass man. So. Uh, but yeah, no, honestly, uh, but yeah, very passionate. I'll give you a five. Oh, yeah. A five. Yes, here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna be really LA hippy dippy, and I don't want to judge you because, like, obviously you're new at this, and I don't want to shoot you down. So I'm gonna give you stars and smiley faces. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't. <laughs> Do I have to give it over? Uh, you really, you don't have to. He's not going to make it. <laughs> tonight, just tonight. God, God, you're so, so brutal. <laughs> no, but on a real note, though, for a year in, like, to have your voice be set where you're at and your stage presence is great, like, please keep doing it. We, yeah. we, yeah. We're joking, we're shitting a little bit, but, like, you're fun, man. We don't want to, like, hurt your feelings too bad. But, yeah. yeah, you're not. I've already seen you cry. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I'm 29. Okay, all right. Oh, never mind. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm but uh, yeah, make some notes for Mark. Oh, yeah, you want to go back to that? Okay. Yeah, All right, we'll put your hands together right now for Sahil uh, Mofavri, everybody. Keep it going until I get to the stage. Yeah. yeah. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah. yeah. Are we going to talk about how Ahmed's friend is a sexual predator? <laughs> Just like casually brings up the condom thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine, sorry, but bad callback, bad callback. <laughs> you guys heard, my name is uh, Sue Hale. I'm sure you're wondering where I'm from. 
from Lebanese. Yeah, I'm sure you've read that in the news recently, in only positive headlines. It's great, though. Telling people I'm Lebanese back in the day, it was always like a simple response. It'd just be like them being like, oh, Lebanon, great food, because they don't know anything else. It's fantastic. But now, with the news, they all treat me like I'm going extinct. Like, I'll tell them, like, oh, yeah, I'm from Lebanon. They'll be like, oh. I knew a Lebanese person once in, in middle school. I'm like, cool, his name was Omar. I'm like, that's great. And they're like, do you know him still? No, don't talk to him at all. It's like when white guys, like old white dads, meet your black friend and they're like, I went to work with a guy named Marcus. Do you know him? It's like, no, dad, they don't know all, you know, not, not everyone knows each other, you know. Uh, what else do I want to say? Outside that, guys, anyone dating? Amazing, tremendous. Yeah, I'm dating a non-binary person, first time ever, it's great. Yeah, I'm an ally, it's cool. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. They are AFAB though, which means that they're assigned female at birth, so they do have large breasts, nice ass, you know. Uh, but they are non-binary, and they are queer. So they always insist that that makes our relationship queer, and that makes me gay. <laughs> Now, guys, or uh, gays, if you're out there, thank you. I, I appreciate the gesture, but there can't be like a world where like gay people were beaten in New York to be gay just 40 years ago, only for me to have sex with a vagina and be like, I'm gay. I'm the gayest man alive. Yeah, it just feels like stolen valor at that point. I didn't earn these rainbow stripes, okay? What else? You guys, have, you guys like board games at all? Anyone fan of board games? Yeah, cool. Me too. I like them. Except for Monopoly. I don't like Monopoly. Terrible game. Uh, just because when you played it as a kid, it was fun. You're like, oh, I'm the dog. It's great. And then you're older and you have bills. And you start playing it and your friend just degenerates into like a cold-hearted, laissez-faire capitalist. <laughs> like, well, where did this happen? We're roommates. And he's like, there's no rent control here, champ. You're going to have to pay full rent on Boardwalk. <laughs> it's insane. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. That's my time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you I like that you started out by uh, calling the host's friend a, 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 a rapist. I thought that was very that was cool. well. Well, it was it was my the, my friend was the girl. She oh, no. it was the lacrosse player that she had sex with. It's all good. His friend's a victim. Yeah, it was my friend. I didn't realize that. <laughs> it's all good. I also thought that when you said his friend, you were talking about me. I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, fuck. What you heard about that out here too? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, no, that's a rough way to start the set. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Come up on the stage like, this guy's friends with Predator. <laughs> I, just, I thought he outed his friend, so I was like, we're not going to comment on that, but my mom. Oh, my dude, mother. Act accusing and having poor listening skills? <laughs> that's a great combination. Yeah, uh, you would do great on Breitbart. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Um, I think, like, my favorite thing about you for sure is your confidence. Like, you have a lot of confidence on stage. Fucking Lebanese, too. I'm also Lebanese. So I got a little connection with that, you know what I mean? But what I will say is that the Lebanese joke about like, oh, they used to say great food, now they just know a guy. And then that's like when a white guy says they know a black guy, that's not even like a, it's not like a joke yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of the same thing in a different font. So I don't know why it would be funnier unless you just like hear the word black and you're like, it's fucking hilarious. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, I think that the non-binary thing, like, am I gay thing, is a very funny premise. I think that you can, like, work it in a way that, because, like, the stolen valor part, like, I really like, you can work it in a way to, like, make it more uh, personal, maybe, like, tell stories of you, like, going to, like, parades with them or, like, trying to be more of an activist in the community and make the uh, situation seem more real to where you... Uh, can paint yourself in the light of the false valor thing that you want to go to because the premise is fucking great And uh, that's really all I got to say about the set. What yeah, do you guys got that was say? good. Well, I um, Yeah, I just like what he was saying. I do like your confidence for sure uh, I love how uh, like you do look half Lebanese half asleep for sure <laughs> <laughs> Cause Your eyes like the way you're like when you smile your eyes squids and it's very likable. Yeah, you you're very likable also Yeah, similar to the to the Lebanese thing and no one really understands. Like I get it too sometimes, like no one really understands like the difference or something like that. 
But you could be like, um, I mean, a tag for you, maybe you could try it, but be like, oh, you're Lebanese? Oh, that's cool. I held the door for a Japanese once. You know what I mean? Don't feel, like someone trying to connect with you. You know what I mean? Someone trying to connect with you that you're Lebanese like that. or something that was like cool. that. She really liked that joke. Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, see, that's my demographic, by the way. Uh, just one person out of 34. <laughs> yeah, but thank you. Yeah, see? That's why I'm here. Anyway, and also, I like how you use gay as a punchline. Dude, that's great. When in doubt, homophobia. Honestly. <laughs> like, when in doubt, homophobia. And yeah, likability, so hell, I've seen you around in LA. Keep going, bro, you're awesome. Woo! I like that one. Okay. <laughs> that one's not on. Okay, uh, great stuff. The callback up top, you could have made it, but the, what, that whole thing happened too far back. If it was like the last thing that was said, then it would still be top of our minds and we'd be like, oh, we kind of get sure. it more. So yeah, so make sure if you're ever doing a callback that either A, we're all on board, it just happened, or it was something so glaring that you call it out and then make a joke about it. Um, I like the like do you, like the one Lebanese guy thing. I think the way to do that joke is kind of like, he asks you like, do you know him? And you're like, no. Do you still know him? And he's like, no. Like that could be a fun way to like play that parallel it. And then the stolen valor thing was great. I just kind of, I want a pun there. So if you can think of a pun, I don't know, like, I don't, mine are really bad, but uh, the one, like, figure out a pun there, like some kind of, like, word that you create, like, like, stolen galler. I don't know, it's very terrible. Um, I almost lost my judge card. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Think, figure that out. Otherwise, good stuff. No, it was fun, man. I'm trying to, like, come up with roasts now, but I need to stop doing that. I need to stop being mean to everybody who comes on to this stage. Uh, what do you guys think it's score-wise? Well, if he doesn't like to score, he could always move his eyebrows up and down and fly away, so. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hey, hey, you want to keep the roast going? Yeah, but I like you. I'm going to give you an A. Say yay. All right. You look like you joined Hamas because you thought it said hummus. <laughs> hey, hey, that was good. All right. All right. Uh, they're like, actually, hummus is Israeli. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. to hear so your your partner your what are they what do we call them my partner the person you're fucking um i think it'd be really funny have you told your lebanese parents this no so they don't know that they're yeah. not and that's what i want to hear i want to hear how like they react to it because you seem to be like cool with it and that's cool but i want to hear like them be like the what you know what i mean the they her name is they or their name is her i'm confused you know what i mean they're still dealing with like dealing with like bisexuality so. oh, no. oh. I'm, I'm working with them though i love it i'm nice. with it I know what you mean, it would be funny if they were dealing with, like, having sex with men and women at the same time. Never mind. His parents are bisexual in my version of this. And that's the way bisexuality is the... <laughs> well, they are Lebanese, and if we're meeting yeah, honest, yeah, they're all, all pretty gay. Yeah, you know, all Lebanese are a little bit bisexual. But that's like a very Arab, like... No, it's, it's for the Arabs at home. It's for the Arabs at home. My yeah, mom has like a, a progressively hateful take. She's like, why are they so horny? Just pick one. Yeah. <laughs> she's coming in from like a, like a scarce resources mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's like slut shaming them. Like Dude, literally, literally my, mom's pro my mom's progressive now is no one's allowed to be gay to everyone can be gay except for my children. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's, that's almost everybody. That, yeah. Yeah. Terms be like, mom, dad, their gender was displaced. Let's go read the news. <laughs> no, like, they're all, they're all, we're in Brooklyn, they're all like hip and you know, weird. <laughs> Not weird about it, they were sensitive about the it. The world is great, nothing is bad as long as I get to go to Kaaba. <laughs> uh, what do you think? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Um, score wise, I mean, like, I just feel like it, it needs to be punched up, but like the delivery was good, but. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that one like a I'm calling 3.5 again. Five is average, so 3.5 is just like the opposite of a 6.5. <laughs> it's like it's the, it's the Waluigi of a 6.5. Oh, I, I've been too generous with my scores. You can, you can score however you want. However you want. Okay. That's the point of having different you judges. Scored, I know, I know, but I'm saying like you guys are like going way yeah. low. No, I'm, going, I'm between us. I'm gonna go five. I liked it. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Seven. That's pretty good. I think you're a pretty leaderboard. Good. You're on the leaderboard. All right, thanks for the leaderboard. leaderboard. <laughs> All right. I'm like Britney Spears in American 
title. I think you're ready. <laughs> it's like just two guys. <laughs> right here. Are you guys ready for your? Is this the fifth or the sixth? Fifth comedian. No. Five. Number five comedian of the night. Guys, make some noise for Daisuke. I, I am such a fatis. Hundred percent. Yeah, I am Japanese. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the other day, the other day, I was in a taxi in New York, and I actually accidentally said, uh, "Left turn as turn left." I apologize to the driver saying, sorry, I messed up my English. Then he said, no problem. This is New York. I see of immigrants. People come from all kinds of countries with different languages. It's a sea of diversity. No one cares. If you mess up your English, you don't need to apologize every time. So Koreans, Always apologize, so I said, I'm not Korean. <laughs> and he said, oh, so sorry. <laughs> so Taiwanese people always apologize. <laughs> so I said, I'm not Taiwanese. And he said, oh, so sorry. So Chinese people always apologize. So I said, I'm not Chinese. And the Chinese people don't apologize. <laughs> I'm Japanese, I'm Japanese, I'm Japanese. <laughs> then he said, oh, so people is Japanese. Oh, I love Japan. Yeah, I love Godzilla. I love Godzilla, I love ramen, anime, total toilet. I love Japan, yeah, Pokemon, karaoke. <laughs> so I said, it's okay, don't freak out. Because this is New York, I still immigrants. People come from all kinds of countries with, with different languages. It's a sea of diversity. But don't you ever mistake our Japanese people for Korea and Chinese fuck you. <laughs> so Americans always mistake us Asians. So I said, I'm not American. <laughs> oh, uh, so Canadian always mistake us Asians. So he said, oh. I'm not Canadian. <laughs> so I said, oh, British people always mistake us Asians. So he said, I'm not British people. I'm, I'm from Iceland. Oh, Iceland. Yeah, yeah. Nothing came to mind. <laughs> Thank you. That's the simplest way. It's all right, right? It's all right. Guys, give it up for Daisuke! Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. He's sweet. Daisuke, he like, famously will wear the biggest clothes in the world. And we roasted it for him last week. <laughs> he comes with the tiniest jacket. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. I love it. That was great, bro. Your writing is fucking yeah. crisp. It's fucking, yeah. I have no notes for what you're doing. I love what you're doing, man. Yeah. I knew where you were going, but it didn't stop me from enjoying what you were saying, man. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go no, you got it. You got it. Uh, no, I was gonna say, dude, you're so likable. Like up top, when you were like, "I'm Japanese," like that was a great callback. Sue Hale, take notes. And <laughs> that was that was a great call. Like I'm Japanese, and that was really funny. We were like, all of a sudden, we were just so like, we want you to win. Like you're just so likable. Um, just a tag. Um, when the guy goes, "Oh, you're Japanese," and he's like, "I love Godzilla, I love Pokemon," and then he's like, and then he kept bowing to me, and you're like, "Hey, you don't have to do that." Like you know what I mean? Like he's bowing. To a little too much, kind of like I don't know that stereotype for some Americans about it. Asians, I don't know if you guys heard. Of it. Okay, never mind. I guess I suck. Okay, and then uh, yeah, this definitely uh, yeah, and then the Iceland. Just if you had a strong closer, that would have been a ten for me, honestly. But, yeah. So. Now nah, we do it. We do it. I nod to everybody, but sometimes I get nervous around Asian people. I don't want to go too low with my. <laughs> That's what I'm everybody I see, I'm like yes, but then when I see Asian person, I'm like. As an Asian, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I got the <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, as a Japanese person, I. Uh, Wait, hold on. Do you speak Japanese? That's not the point. Uh, <laughs>
literally holds it down. Great stuff. I thought, honestly, like, it was long-winded up top, but the payoff was so good. So it made me, like, happy. Uh, I didn't care how long it took to get to the first big punchline. I think for the, um, the part where you're guessing where he's from, it gets a little redundant, right? Because you're like, oh, you American people, you Canadian people. I think you could solve that by the third one instead of saying British, because you would know if he's British. If you were just like, well, you white people always think the same thing. I think that could be a fun way to end it. And then go to the Icelandic thing. Yeah. Good job. Really good job. Dude, so funny. You're always the fucking best. Dude, I'm going to give that one an 8. Oh, 8? I'm going to go 8.5. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. I'm also going eight. Going eight again? Yeah. Eight's across the board. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Manager. I'm glad we do it. I'm glad, you know, because my technique is really rusty. How <laughs> 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 we do it? I, the, I love these trainings because they'll give you like a multiple choice question. It's like Jerry notices that Susan is wearing a tight blouse. Should Jerry a give her the old honka honka? <laughs> Why is that an option, dude? <laughs> Why, you only need 78% to pass the training. <laughs> There's some dude in my office right now fully convinced Honka Honka was the right answer. <laughs> He's like, it was a being that an option C, you ripped that thing open. I don't know. When was that? I, am, uh, I think it was that guy. I think that's the guy. That's the dude. I, um... I'm getting, I'm getting tired of people at work asking me about the news. I think it's my entire vibe. <laughs> like, by day I work in tech, by night I'm guy who knows why gas is expensive. That's sort of my entire... For the past year, people ask me questions about the Middle East, where I'm from. They're like, dude, which side are you on? Like, are you, are you on Israel's side? Are you on Palestine's side? And like, just, just between us in this room, guys, I'm on a work visa. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you my opinion on absolutely nothing. That's what I mean. Like, what's your favorite color? Red, white, blue, green card. That's my, that's my favorite color. I, I'm on a work visa. It's hard being on a visa in this anti-immigrant climate. One of my coworkers last week, he pulled me aside. He's like, dude, I think the migrants might come for my job. I'm like, I really don't think their end game is software sales. I don't think, I don't think they're like, we're going to get the family together so one day we can hit quota for Oracle. I don't think that's, this guy doubled down too. He's like, you don't get, I'm interviewing, you can't get a single sales job because of the damn migrants. What job are you interviewing for? <laughs> that's, Man, head of chocolate sales at F Train? What are you? What job? I'll leave you guys with this. I'm, I'm, I'm Iranian, so we're completing the full axis of evil up here <laughs> with these guys. I, I, I have a weird relationship with my parents because, like, we moved here when I was five. Uh, I'm 25. I still speak to my parents like a kindergartner. It, my, my mom would call me every day in college. She's like, "What are you up to?" I'm like, "You know, playing with the buddies." That's <laughs> what I. Do you guys know the Farsi translation for crushing natty lights with the boys? Do any of you, if you know that? All right, I'm Kaz. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Give up for Kaz, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Really, it's really funny is that I really enjoyed the fucking the assault joke, and it feels like they, I don't, it feels like the wording of it was of the punchline. It's not obvious enough that you're well, of what you're saying. If that makes any sense. Because it's such a fucking funny joke, and I feel like if you find a way to... Because obviously you have to balance the extreme, right? You don't want to go too far the other way. Yeah. But if you can find, like, a little, 
Like, it, it, it's such a funny joke. Thanks. And I, I think that it's, I think it is a wording issue, not a structure issue, if that makes sense. But besides that, the, I have a guy, like, what, you, you got a good one? Uh, oh, I you. Oh, no, with that same joke? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking, like, well, the, look, the thing is, it is a really funny joke. I laughed really hard. The only problem is, like, sometimes the audience, like, this was a cool audience, but sometimes it's, like, especially most women wouldn't even like that. So when you said, oh, I'm getting rusty, right? That was funny, but you could always bring it back to, because I just really need to protect these women. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like just something yeah. like bring it back to, hey, I'm not a bad guy. Like I, yeah. I want to help. How can I be a better guy? Something yeah. like that. Just that angle could could be like, okay, we like him again because it's up top. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, there is there's, cool. there's a, such an artful way to say fucked up shit on stage. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's a there's a way to get away with saying fuck, and it's shit like that. Yeah, it's like, like yeah. 11 pedophilia or yeah. something <laughs> like that. Like, one of my favorite. This is not about you. One of my favorite examples. Yeah, is, right. Uh, is uh, Tosh has a joke where he talks about the he's I forget some, it's something. So the punchline is that. That was about. It's about 9/11. He's like, that was worth a tower, and the audience groans. He goes, no, no, not two, not two. <laughs> yeah. And it's like it's the like it's he's not saying anything, but it's just like the fact you're able to walk it back an inch, like it automatically gives the way for a joke that's objectively fucked up, you know? So yeah, really funny, dude. And then the fucking the honk, honk, honk is funny, dude. <laughs> That uh, is tight. I think uh, that was an issue in offices at one point that the men were honking too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. I, I feel like those same guy. I don't know if you could use it on stage, but I feel I remember like during sexual harassment training, this like uh, when I used to be an accountant. Long story, but anyways, it was like this guy goes. He tried to make a joke during the course. He goes, "I don't understand what part of her ass do I not understand?" And like everybody groaned. So it's like that same guy yeah, yeah. could say. So it's like, what else would he be saying? That's what I was thinking. But did they actually say that? No, he really said that. Dude, fucking Michael Scott. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Yeah, no, literally said that. Her ass. Yeah, he literally said. <laughs> also, also random, but my I'm also I play HR at a sexual harassment like work training video. That's so if you guys cool. ever okay, get a new job, if you have to take, I swear, yeah, yeah. I'll what show you guys the video after. That was the most Hollywood shit ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm in a commercial. Yeah, my yeah. yeah, my dimples would allow me to be the predator, so I had to be the HR guy. <laughs> yeah, who books that, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, oh, I was going to say another angle that you could go. I really like the the guy who was like, oh, the migrants are coming for my job, and he pulled you aside knowing he like he doesn't think that you're a migrant because your English is so good. So if you kind of like reveal, like, well, I'm a migrant too, you know what I mean? Something yeah. like that. Like, he was like, oh, shit, you're an immigrant? Like, oh, yeah, he's like, we're everywhere or something like yeah. that. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, the great set. Really Thanks. funny. I thought the assault training thing, like, the inverse premise you had was great. It was Thanks. really funny. As a woman, I was not offended. I thought it was funny. <laughs> um, this <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I was offended. Um, <laughs> this Okay, so I think you should play more with the whole 78% thing. Because I think there's so many like equivalencies that you can bring into that. You're yeah. Like, you only have to get a 78% to pass. That's like if, and then you can give us other scenarios with like 78%. I think that could make it more relatable to the audience, and like you could just really play on that. Um, also, this didn't ring true to me when you said like immigrants are not coming for your software sales jobs. I was like, yeah, they are. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? So maybe figure out a different job function. Yeah. Than that. Yeah, I thought it was great, man. I thought the uh, you only need 78% to pass is was so fucking funny. I think you got to like hit it in a different way though to like make that uh, get like more of a pop. I think maybe you either rushed through it or you didn't like fully set it up with. I think the also the old honka honka thing, great, but maybe just give us like one A, B or C beforehand just so that it kind of comes out of nowhere because or not comes out of nowhere. It's just rule of thirds type shit, but that is very funny. So if it was like A say nothing a b whatever da, 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 and then c the old honka honka it might hit a little hard because you built a little bit more tension and uh, i thought it was fun that you joked about us and called us the axes of evil that's pretty <laughs> great hell yeah yeah uh i liked it a lot i feel like the there was a, the middle part the 78 percent is really funny the honka honka is really funny i felt like the the assault that's honk on honka honka that's that's phenomenal award choices um the first bit didn't hit quite as hard as I think it deserved. I'm going to give it a 7.5, but I really did enjoy it. Thanks. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. You fuck with EDM? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn, I was wrong. I was like, you only get those forearms by fist pumping. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to give that one, uh, I'm going to give it a, a 7. What did you give it? 7.5. 7.5. Uh, what are you thinking? 7.5. 7.5. What are you thinking? Actually, no. 78%. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you yeah. passed. Eight. 
Hell yeah, you cool. passed. Dude. Thanks. All right, well, hold on. Let me let me do math. Banter with let each other. Let him do math. How do you guys, how so do you guys feel the show is going so far? Dude, so far so good. Uh, are you guys having fun? Is the audience having fun? What as a good the, third host. What a good co-host being like, hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, as long as the Pull audience is having fun, that's all that matters. Who's and your guys' I'm favorite so far? Yell it out. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. have to do it later. It's okay. We'll definitely. Right. I don't think they remember. <laughs> yeah, that's not. We're gonna keep this train rolling. Kaz, you're on the leaderboard, by the way. You got a 31. So make some noise for him for doing that. Yeah. They go up huh? Yeah, they went up already. All right. More banter, 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 banter. Words. Lots. Doing lots of words until we get a new guy. All right. Put your hands together right now for Karthik Raj, everybody. All right, Karthik. Thank you. Guys, make some noise for yourselves. Come on. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Good to be here. I uh, had an interesting week. I went to an ATM recently, and the previous person's receipt was still in there, and they had $400,000 in their checking account. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I looked at that receipt the same way I look at like Shaq's feet. I was just like, if that's the size of his checking, just imagine the size of his savings, dude. It's probably pretty girthy. You got to... You got 400k just ready to go. You have 400k soft, bro. <laughs> I have 87 dollars, rock hard. You know it is not going well. Um, a lot of Asian talk tonight. Um, my girlfriend is Chinese, and I've noticed this thing that whenever I tell men my girlfriend's Asian, they just tell me if they're attracted to Asian women, <laughs> which is an insane reflex to have. Like, I was talking to this guy, I was like, yeah, my girlfriend's Chinese. And he goes, ah, Asians don't really do it for me. I was like, yeah, I wasn't offering, you know? I wasn't like, help yourself, it's pretty good stuff. <laughs> There's also some shit that I didn't realize would be an issue. Like, she has a dog, and she got the dog a body harness that has the dog's name on it. Just as, like, Maggie Wang across the dog's body. Which is cute. Uh, the only problem is if I walk the dog alone, it looks like I just decided to make her Asian. Like, I was just like, yeah, this big black pit bull, uh, Chinese, actually. I don't know if you heard that bark. That's a Beijing accent, okay? This, this dog doesn't eat my homework. This dog does my homework. It's fucking sick, dude. And it's annoying, because when, when I walk the dog, people are just like, why is your dog Chinese? And I have to be like, no, 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 my girlfriend's Chinese. And they're like, the dog is your girlfriend? What the fuck are you doing to this dog, bro? Um, all right, last thing I'll say is... Uh, I'm a pretty anxious guy. I kind of realize that in like awkward situations, I always just do the wrong thing and make it worse. You know what I mean? Like, I was on a flight recently and I was watching this movie, Black Klansman, a uh, great Spike Lee movie about a black police officer infiltrating the KKK, right? And the guy next to me was this French black dude and he was very intently watching my screen. So I was like, you know what? Let me do him a favor, turn on the subtitles so he can follow along. And uh, right when I turned on the subtitles, a KKK member said the N-word about 47 times. <laughs> And this guy gave me a look of like, what the fuck are you watching? And so I panicked, and I turned the subtitles off. So to this guy, it just looked like I was like, yeah, that part's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. All right, thank you guys. My name is Karthik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it up for Karthik, everybody. Yeah, dude, hilarious. Bro, yeah. super fucking funny, dude. Thanks, that, man. Your, your dog really have that on the, on the side? The baggy went well, it's yeah. Zhang, but people sometimes don't know that's Asian, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like 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 in a, in a cartoon when like a, like a superhero punches. It's like Zhang. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's also no one gets that. Okay, fine. Fuck me. Um, I think that can you take can you can you take the the collar off when you walk it? Yeah, but people don't like a pit bull that's just loose. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I wouldn't like that either. Yeah. That is really funny. Most Asian names are onomatopoeias, honestly, if you think about <laughs> it. You guys don't You guys don't think Roger Shaker is a very onomatopoeia? <laughs> Just focus I, on the set. Don't focus on the wrist. No, no, that's not, I will. I will. No, don't worry. Um uh, Shaq's feet so fucking funny, dude. Thanks, man. 401k. $4,000 Shaq. That's the cool, damn. I, <laughs> if I if I had that much money in my checking, I would leave it up on the screen every time, and then I'd sit back and watch the next guy react. To Just it. like immediately burst into I tears. I love yeah. white privilege. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nothing bad will happen to me ever. <laughs> yeah. I have a million dollars. Well, if I have four thousand dollars in checking, I have an armed security man next to me at all times. Fair you know, enough, like that's there, things are going on. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. 
Nobody, if I made a million dollars, nobody would know. <laughs> Especially my family and the people behind me at the ATM. <laughs> right, right. Oh my god! Yeah, that makes sense. I was in a fucking Harlem. They have ATMs. They're just on like the street. Like you'd be. I used to live out there. You'd be on one one twenty fifth Street, and the Wells Fargo would just be like out on the street, and I'd be like, "Damn, I'm afraid they're gonna like see my thirty eight and be like, <laughs> empty it. <laughs> All of the stuff you right. have." <laughs> Uh, well, that riff sucked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> either way, 400k like soft is that. That's one of my favorite jokes of the night. That's that was funny. really fucking Thanks, funny. Man, Hell yeah, it. dude. Hell yeah. I don't know what you guys got to say. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say like uh, it would be funny if you like kept the receipt from that ATM yeah, and just you frame put it. On, yeah, yeah. you frame it and then your friend saw it or something like that. Yeah, yeah I saw that like, once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. Uh, no, I think that was absolutely hilarious. I, lo I loved your confidence. I mean, you were just so relaxed up there that made everybody else in the audience relax. Great writing. I mean, yeah, dude, seriously, that was fantastic. Set. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Um, confidence, you were very polished. It was a very polished set. Like, you came in with your jokes. It was great. I like the I'm not offering with your yeah. Asian girlfriend. That was hilarious. So good job. I say 8.5. Yeah, okay, 8.5. I'm, I'm going nine, dude. I thought bangers across the board. Really liked it. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm throwing ten. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's ten. throwing ten, dude. dude. I'm going eight. I liked it a lot. I think it was great. Asian dog thing lost me just a little bit, but everything else fucking loved it. Well, you're definitely on the leaderboard. Let me do math over here while he pulls out another well, name. Also, also like, like you could have gone on an easy like Chinese people eating dogs joke and you didn't. I know. It's and I, hard. And his girlfriend that's would break up with it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, but I was just like, yeah, you could have went for the low-hanging fruit and you didn't. So Thank I'm you. very... It is yeah, tough yeah. to write a joke about Asians and dogs and not make <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're like, ah, it's right there. So close, so close. <laughs> right. It's fun to tell a joke right. about dogs when you come up here dressed like Clifford. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that too. I was thinking that too, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the Thanks, leaderboard. Guys. Thank you for Thanks coming. Nice to Thank everybody. Comedian uh, coming up next. Guys, make some noise for AJ. Woo -hoo. We got three more, baby. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. I, uh, I came from upstate today to do this, so happy I got pulled. All right, so uh, my mom is white and my dad's Jamaican, but it, it's weird because I kind of look like I got conceived at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. It's, uh, it's really hard being black, especially when you love the things that you get stereotyped for. You know, like playing basketball, drinking Hennessy, getting white women pregnant, you know, just regular shit. But it's like, what do you want me to say about that? I guess the whites were right. I've been drinking more lately. I like drinking, but sometimes it makes me turn into a different person. Like I'll get a shot and a beer at the bar and I turn into a cheerleader. Give me a C, give me an I, give me a G. Who's got spirits? Yeah, smoking cigarettes, it's a lot like masturbating when you think about it. It feels really good in the moment. You're never too proud to be doing it. But come on, let's face it, probably be here again tomorrow. I never mind giving a friend a cigarette either. What I really, really hate is when a white dude that I don't know comes up to me asking for a cigarette. It's like, dude, haven't you taken enough American spirits already? <laughs> yeah, I'm single now. Uh, I was in a relationship that ended last year, and when it ended, it was pretty tough. She, she said, y you're too good. Things are too good. Yeah, I think I got cheated on, guys. No, it's all right. It's all right. My ex, she does remind me a lot of sushi, though. I had to eat it three times before I knew I loved it. Yeah, I'm uh, also celibate. I would love to say that I'm celibate because I'm embarking on a spiritual journey or some shit like that. But in reality, I'm just trying to avoid things like bad head. Has anybody ever got bad head? It it kind of reminds me of like having a tea party with a little kid. You know, you're kind of just looking down. It's like, mmm, yup, so good, so good. Yeah. Uh, can we do something else? All right. Thank you. 
All right. Yeah. All right, AJ. 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 Oh, yeah, you came from upstate. Where are you from originally? How long have you been doing it? Uh, I'm from Kingston, and I am almost six months in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Nice. Guys, that makes Welcome. Sense. Yeah. Kingston, Jamaica? <laughs> Kingston, New York. Okay. Well, <laughs> well I don't know. I didn't okay. know that existed. Yeah. He, you like you like smoking cigs and jacking off? That's pretty cool. That's yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, no, it's it's like jacking off. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I want to see. It's like all your joke writing, like I... The formula is there. Just dig deeper. You know gotcha. what I mean? Like, gotcha. don't go, to, like, for example, like, cigarettes, that's like masturbating on the porch with my coffee. Like, just, like, just <laughs> keep writing as many punchlines yeah. as you can. Gotcha. Share it with your friends, and maybe you could figure that out. Yeah. Um, Jack off with your friends, you know? Yeah. 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 And then and then you could be, like, like for example, like, I guess I guess the whites were right. I don't know which one. I have no. She's been laughing all night. Don't even know what she's laughing at. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <Dude. laughs> what I said earlier with the porch. Dude. Oh, okay. Oh, I love you. You're so, right. you're so lovely. Okay, dude. yeah. You're. Well, Thank you for coming. We're talking yeah. after. All right. <laughs> you literally have free tickets to every ever sh every show I've ever had in my entire life. Um, but yeah, like you could be like, because uh, you mentioned your mom is white, so mm -hmm. instead of like I guess the whites, you could be like I don't know, ask my mom or something to bring it back. Okay. But um, no, the formula's there. Just yeah. like just dig deeper, write more punchlines, yeah. and find that funny. Got you know you. what I mean? Yeah. No, for real. I did smoking cigs and jacking off is a good start, though. I like that. Yeah. I bet you if you did them at the the same time, you'd be like so at peace. You'd find like another <laughs> level of like enlightenment. You know. <laughs> Like, if you smoke cigs and jack off at the same like time, you forgive plane. your parents or whatever. Yeah. You forgive nah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you start cool. smoking you like this. You getting ash on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as you the think The ash mixes with the cum. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like venom. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I mean, for six months, it definitely felt like it felt like brand new. You know what I mean? I can tell you I've been doing it for a little while. You got to work on your confidence and your delivery mm -hmm. when you're telling this. There's not really much inflection in your voice. There's not really much emotion in your voice. And I think the writing is a little, you know, it's a little bit new. It's a little bit juvenile. You gotta. Well, there's nothing wrong with a bit juvenile. I tell. Mm -hmm. I stepped in calm. If you remember from earlier, <laughs> that's what I did, and I, I talked about it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I think that he's 100% right. You just gotta take your jokes to the next level. Every mixed person has a joke about looking Puerto Rican. I have a joke about looking Puerto Rican, but you can't just say I look Puerto Rican. You gotta like go into specific details that will make your joke stand out from the rest you know what i mean mm -hmm. can, can i can i just ask you this because i this is something i've been thinking about working on it's like yeah sure one i did hook up with this girl from the bronx who was dominican and she only started talking to me because I, she thought i was dominican like did you just like tell that. us that to prove that you do sex no <laughs> no it's fine i'm celibate actually oh, i don't care oh, about oh, having oh, sex right now oh. this is in the <laughs> Yeah, Can I run way. something by you? I was fucking. And, uh... <laughs> 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 All right, fair enough. Fair enough. When you say it like that, when you, when you say it like that, like, yeah, okay. And I by the it. way, feel free to run that bias whenever you want. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, <laughs> never a shame in that, dog. I'm saying, like, should I tap into that? Is yeah, that like, yeah, that's like yeah. a good yeah. resource? Sorry, yeah. that's what I was asking. I mean, not that example specifically. <laughs> She's right, but there's something else. Gotcha. You definitely look more Dominican, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. You're freaking me out because only your neck is sweating. And I'm like <laughs> looking at it, and I'm like, how is it just no, your no, neck? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. no, that's just neck sweat that he put, moved yeah. up there to cover for himself. If he man. could do me a favor and cry. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it takes out of here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like I want to know more about you. Like, I know your name is AJ, mm -hmm. allegedly, but like, I want to know, like, who actually are you besides cigarettes and having parents? You know what I mean? Sure. So it's like, Dig deeper, but if you're finding it a little difficult to like take that note, then like, all right, tell me about like r just write about cigarettes mm -hmm. and like go through every specific observation you've made about yourself writing cigarettes and what you like and don't like. Not when it comes to like handing it to white people, but like when it's like you know what I hate about it, or, like what frustrates mm -hmm. me about it, and dig into that, and then then we can start to see what your specific point of view is because sure. it's not really coming out yet. Gotcha. Yeah. She's 100% right. Mm -hmm. Make it more personal. 100% agree with all of that, but also six months, you just got to keep doing it. Like, yeah, you keep obviously, doing it. you like yeah. doing it. You fucking mm -hmm. drove down here for this, so thank you very much, by yeah. the way. Like, just keep going up. Yeah. Like, all this other stuff is important, but the real thing is just it, get up as much as you fucking can, and all the other stuff will figure yeah. itself out. You know what I mean? And if you don't like stand up, you're still getting royalty checks from El DeBarge, so that works <laughs> out. I don't that's know what that like means. It's super niche black shit, but no that's for me. You know, yeah. we're having fun. Nah, you I, know. I've gotten that before, so that one, it, it's yeah. on brand. It's on yeah. brand. You know, ooh. Have you gotten Little Ooh, Demetrius yeah, before? Because look, look. I mean, I too. would have to be here for that. So. <laughs> oh, I nice. see. Excellent. Damn, it's gonna be a long train ride home, huh? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's 75 degrees, dude. You got that jacket? It's this is gonna suck. I'm sorry. Nah, he drove down. Yeah. Um, 
Thank you for coming. Uh, obviously a little new, but six from Austin. But I enjoyed it, and please keep doing it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a six as well. Yeah, first six months of stand up. I was gonna say six, but I promised you a point earlier. So six plus one, seven. Uh, I'll just take the six. It's all right. Wow. Oh. Wow. I don't like the bonus point for nothing. You get a three. That's oh, what you okay. get now. <laughs> Thank you. He's honest. Wait, Dominican? Seven? No, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go a little bit lower, man. I didn't think that that was, like, ready. You got to keep working it. I'm comparing you to all stand-up, not yeah. just, like, somebody who's been doing it for six months. But, yeah, I'm going to have to go four. Okay. But, yeah, yeah, keep coming. Please come back. Yeah. You know? Keep doing it. Just keep get up. up. You're fucking, yeah, that's all. How that old are you? Uh, 25. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You oh, got you're it. Fine. You got it, dog. Thank you for right, coming out. You. We really fine. appreciate yeah. you. Give it up for AJ, everybody. Oh, yeah. Guys, our second to last comedian of the night. Guys, please make some noise for Gabe Baldizi. Oh, okay. That was okay. How are we doing tonight, guys? Yeah. Right, what's up? I was talking to my dad over the phone, and he starts talking about how there's no good TV shows anymore when he goes, Did you see that Dahmer show on Netflix? Disgusting. Men with other men. And I couldn't help but be taken back a bit. Like, wait, that's what bothered you about that show? <laughs> so my uncle used to babysit that actress, Dakota Johnson, whose breakout role was in the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, which I don't know if that means that he did a great job or quite possibly the worst job of all time. <laughs> but when the movie came out, that must have been a real dilemma for him because, like, sure, you want to be supportive, but also, do you think you could watch that movie? Like, yeah, I remember when I used to push her on the swings. <laughs> I will say, it did used to bug me when I'd see people walking around reading Fifty Shades in public. So they can do that, but I get caught watching porn at the park one time and I get banned? <laughs> I feel like you guys pulled back on me there a little bit. That was a joke. <laughs> I'm kidding. I never got caught. <laughs> so uh, I come from a pretty jaded family. I feel like everyone's pretty unfiltered, but every so often I feel the conversation kind of... Going a little bit too far, like just the other night, I found myself explaining the concept of stuck porn to my mom and stepdad, John. Well, honestly, more so explaining to my mom. Uh, John, John knew what was up. <laughs> John knows what's hot in these streets. But anyways, as I'm explaining this to them, they ask me if I know what a vajankle is. And I said, no, what's a vajankle? And they say, Google it. Do you guys know what a vajankle is? No. All right, so a vajankle, I guess, is this new type of pocket pussy. So you remember like the fleshlight? The vajankle is instead like the shape of a foot with a hole where the ankle would be. So instead of fucking a flashlight, you know, that way you're fucking a foot. That way it's not weird or nothing. <laughs> Anyways, in the process of trying to Google vajankle, I accidentally make a typo and discover something called a vajacial. And my stepdad, John, goes, what's a vajacial? And I say, Google it. <laughs> This leads to a moment where as John and I are Googling vajankles and vajayshals, my mom is simultaneously on her phone Googling stuck porn. And all I could imagine was the CIA agent monitoring our internet. Like, what the fuck is this family planning? Thank you, guys. Yeah. Great job. Great job, Gabe. Gabe, Gabe Baldizi, everybody. Your, your family's too close. You guys, you guys, you should never be talking about this shit. But it's very funny. Dude, that, that was great. First off, I didn't know the AIDS blanket had jackets, so that's really, <laughs> so that's really cool. Uh, no, I, I really liked your set. You're very <laughs> okay. This is just for her at this point. No, no, that was really you come, funny. Can you come to all my shows, by the way? <laughs> yeah. Hey, she's mine. Leave me. <laughs> no, but honestly, that was really funny. You were confident. Uh, I was gonna say at one point you like read the room. You're like, okay, you guys pulled back, and I like that. It's like, okay, you're 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 present with what's going on in the room. Uh, I, I mean, a dumb tag you could take it or leave it, but just to keep people more, uh, like more in tune of what's going on with Dakota Johnson, because Fifty Shades is like it's it's an older movie, so try to keep it more topical. So you could be like, oh, we saw Fifty Shades, like she did a great job. Then we saw Madam Web, and he's like, oh, he did a horrible job, or something like that. Uh, the, the Madam did Web. anyone here see did Madam, Web? Madam Web? Don't do what he said. Okay, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but let me. <laughs> hey, but that's the point. Like, okay. No, well, I like. I tried like it for you. Going with that though, 100. But I but, but something like to keep it more topical to be like, who's Dakota Johnson? Oh, okay, okay. Just to, like remind people. But uh, no, I liked you. You're really cool. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Hell yeah. 
I thought uh, I thought it was it was uh, it was fun. I I I think you've been on the show before, right? Yeah, like okay, perfect, six months perfect. back, probably. Yeah, yeah, right. You did the Dahmer joke before. I was like, I think I heard that before, but now that I'm clocking that it was you, then like that's totally fine. I love the I think I love that you looked at these three ladies in the front and you were like, you know, flashlights, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you get lonely. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, the way the line of that way it's not weird for the vaginal <laughs> thing is a fucking That's so funny. hilarious line. Yeah. Also on here I have that you look like the forgotten Jonas brother. <laughs> I, oh yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It's, it's given very much like off Broadway production of rent. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, keep doing comedy. One day you'll be able to do an hour. Then another day you'll be able to do five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Yup. Nice. That's what I was. I like doing your last name school. a lot. Baldizi. <laughs> Baldizi. Close enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same. Baldizi. Everyone says Baldizi. So at this it's point, spelled like, Baldizi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think it's fun. It sounds like a, like a fratty nickname a little Why'd bit. Why'd you spell your name wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you look like you own a brewery and a weed shop at the same time. So nice. that was really He <laughs> looks like he owns nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no matter how nice I try to dress, I look homeless. <laughs> yeah. I have homeless face. Dude, I kind of love it, though. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good vibe. Like the yeah. shoes are fire, though. Yeah, I'll, yeah, give yeah, I'll give Thank you that. Thank you. Thrift store. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Okay. I I also you speak really fast, but I speak really fast, so I enjoyed it. Um, because this is all about me. Uh, yeah, great stuff. I liked the Dahmer thing. I thought it was funny. Um, the only thing that I bumped on was why there would be a CIA agent watching. You're white, right? Yeah. You're you're not his color, but uh, y the only thing or our color, I should say. We because if it was an Arab or someone, I'd be like, oh yeah, the CIA van. But like, why would they? Be watching you guys. So if you can find a way to like make that just work. a better punch for the end of that joke. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's funny that's like if someone were watching this, you could even just say someone. But when you said CIA, I was like, well, why the fuck? I mean, you might be on a list. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> based on that jacket, but <laughs> that might be like your victim's clothes all put together. Um, just like Dahmer, but yeah. <laughs> it's like a in memoriam or like a yeah, like the trophies trophy. of yeah, all the people like you've a, killed. I actually, I, I like that. That's yeah, all the hipsters in flannel that you've killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but good stuff. Yeah, really funny dude. I'm yeah. a 8.5. I liked it a lot. 8.5. Uh, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Fifty Shades of Grey joke kind of like fell off. I think we we knew where you were going with the in public, and then just kidding. I never got caught. Like those are super predictable things. I would just fucking x that out. But the premise of reading porn in public is funny. You just got to go in a different direction. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna give that one a 6.5. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What do you think? Um. I'll yeah. Eight. Thank you, guys. Eight. I'm going to give you an eight. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so now i got to do math. You guys can talk amongst each other. I'm notoriously We have, we have one comedian this. left. Okay, cool. One after this. All right, Wait, awesome. Has there been one girl this entire time? Uh, yeah, there has been. If there's another one, they can, can go. Wait, we had, we had a girl here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Gosh. If, if, we, we could... I, if there is another one? Is there a girl? Sure. Is there a girl? Yeah, there's hey. All right. You oh, we have a girl. I heard one in the back. All right. Well... Wait. Oh, we have two. Huh? Well, she. Okay, oh, yeah, you get to pick. Okay, okay Reem, Reem. Which one do you want to? Which one do you want to perform for you? Uh, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is there just one girl? Stand up if you're I, a female. I think there's two. two. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. How flip about they this. both do their sets at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> Because like two women is equal to one man, sure, so we might as sure, well. Sure. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Gonna, I'm gonna flip the eraser. <laughs> if it comes up this side, you're going up. And if it comes up this side, you're going up. Okay. How does that sound? Okay. <laughs> Welcome, whoever's in the back. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys again. Thank you for coming. All right. Make some noise for her, everybody. Wait, what? what? Oh, no. oh, oh, yeah, I know what's her. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey. hey, what's up, Emma? Hey. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to say it. Fuck Connecticut. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that place. Not just because my ex is from there, but also because they don't have any streets because they hate poor people. They don't have any sidewalks. Anyway, um, I, my villain origin story started in Connecticut. Okay, my neighbor, she looked at me when I looked more religious. I look like a whore right now, I'm sorry. But she asked me to teach her class about Islam, right? And this is before I ever wanted to be a teacher, nor did I ever think that this was a career for me. But um, she, she was like, okay, come teach my class about Islam because she was a social studies teacher. wanted to, you know, bring some enrichment to her classroom while they were learning about world religions, right? Um, and this was in Bristol, Connecticut. You know where Aaron Hernandez is from? 
Yeah, uh, ruined it for all the brown people, apparently, because they had never seen a Muslim before. And um, when these moms in Connecticut found out, they were like, oh, she's going to proselytize our kids. She's going to convert them to Islam. And I'm like, ma'am, that would be so hard, okay? Like, getting a veteran teacher to have control of her classroom and get kids to do one thing, right, let alone something in a different language. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but to convert to Islam, you have to take the shahada, which is, like, you stick up your finger and, like, you say some stuff in Arabic. So I'm just thinking, like, I'm in a classroom going, like, all right, class three, two, one, all right, voice level zero, stick that finger up, keep it up. Yep, that's, that's the wrong finger, James. Sorry, put that finger down. That's disrespectful. <laughs> And then getting them to say the words in Arabic, they would fuck it up on purpose. Like, I would get in trouble with the principal of the school and the principal of heaven. <laughs> right? I would get fired from my job and also be in the fire. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyways, I became a teacher out of revenge. I've been doing it for six years now. It's the longest bit I've ever done. Um, I've been teaching kids for six years um, at an all-boys middle school in Kentucky. That's right. I'm a war veteran. Um, Last year, Ramadan came a little earlier in the school year, and so we were accommodating the kids. Uh, we have a lot of Muslim kids in our school. I was in Louisville, Kentucky, and that's a sanctuary city. And what that means is that the kids from the countries we bomb come to America and American schools, you know, to feel safe. <laughs> and we started accommodating these Muslim kids. We gave them lunch. We instead, at lunchtime, we gave them a chance to go to the library and just play games instead of going to lunch. So a lot of them started trickling down really slowly to class, and they started cutting class, and the non-Muslim kids started to notice, and they'd come up to being like, Miss Chowdhury, how do I do this Ramadan thing? <laughs> how, do I become, how do I convert to Islam? And I'm like, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna get in so much trouble. How about we convert that F to an A first? <laughs> get you to pass my class first. Um, and I just realized, you know, like, all you need to create a child soldier army for the sake of Allah is to give all these boys recess for a month. <laughs> All right, that's all I'm going to do. Thank you. Yeah. Hell yes. You taught in an all-boy middle school. Yeah. Six years. Six years. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm going back to teaching again. Um, Is it all-boy middle school again? No, this time it's going to be high school. All-boy high school? No, it's it's in Brownsville. I don't know if that's the same thing. I don't. We'll find out. I think they have co-ed schools there. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, that, uh, what, for six, what was, like, the worst thing a, a kid said in class? A kid, they they put a condom on my desk. <gasps> like, yeah. open, used, or closed? I have no idea. I didn't look. I, d I just threw it away. I was like. Wait, was it in the packet? No, no, it was open. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Mm. That, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a pretty good bit. <laughs> Damn. Well, you did that, you did that in your yeah. middle school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel yeah, like yeah, they're doing safe sex out there. That's pretty funny. I like that a lot. Congratulations, you, know you get pit. up here. How about yeah. that? <laughs> Shout out to you, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty funny, dude. That's funny. She was like, she's Muslim. Maybe she wants to cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I think that with your that you got to condense with your yeah. stuff. I think the fundamental thing that you're trying to say is that I'm way too bad of a teacher to convert kids to Islam. Right, right, right. right. So I think you just got to condense and then say that point because I think that you you start to kind of like ramble a little bit mm -hmm. when you're uh, up there. And then once you hit that nail in the coffin of that, then we know what you're saying and then we're on board. Yeah. And I think that there are other jokes that you can and should try to make about – like, just being a Muslim woman at an all-boys school. Like, if you were a good Muslim woman, you'd be in a different room. You know what I mean? Like, we separate them. Yeah, all right. Well, approval from the <laughs> <Yeah>. two Muslims <laughs> on the stage, <laughs> and everybody else fucking hates it. <laughs> so I'm 2% Irish, so. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. But, yeah, I think you got to, I think you got to, like, just find the, the point of, like, what you're exactly trying to say, right. how to get there as quick as possible. That way we're on board, because I think I did take, like, two minutes talking about other shit, I think. Right? I like fu uh, yeah. I like saying fuck Connecticut up top. I think yeah, the okay. fuck Connecticut. Yeah, okay. you've got everybody. A very uh, like great geography joke. Thank and you, thank you. Love geography. Uh, no, I was gonna say I feel you on like the thing, especially like I mean I've I've talked about like being Muslim on stage yeah. before, and it's like you got you got to try your best to like make it relate to everybody else. Mm -hmm. So it's like otherwise you, it's just one long voicemail like okay. on yeah. stage. So, but yeah, uh, uh, I was gonna say and. Um, uh, you were gonna say that you dress like a whore now. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you judging me? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She, I, she literally. I said it. it. I said it. it's not. Uh, 
He gets you're dressed like a whore. Thank no, you so much. Much. <laughs> <laughs> so much better coming out of your mouth. This uh, lady pegs. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know a pegger when I see one. Sorry for the hard no, R. Um, this lady, this lady. Yeah. Dude, no, hole is the goal. Uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> no, but definitely, uh, yeah, you got to try your best to like relate it to everybody else. I mean, that's something I'm even trying to work on. You guys can't on, relate like, to taking the Shahada? That's <laughs> <crazy>. Yeah, <laughs> that's so crazy. it's like try your best. It's like explain what is the Shahada or right. what is like. Dude, no, you should thing. convert the whole room to. You want to do it right yeah. now? That we would be funny. funny. We could do yeah. it right now. Everybody you put your finger up. Everybody who wants to convert. Like Shahada, no coercion. It could be like, it's like a dry baptism or something like that. Like whatever, like quick, like something that you could connect to. That's really helpful. Like, yeah, something like that okay. that everybody could. A dry uh, baptism? Oh, because the water. Okay, got you. Yeah. Holy water, duh. It's I'm not okay. Christian. I don't know. These it's things. okay. I'm just riffing here. And, um, but yeah, uh, other than that, it's like I see where you're coming from. Oh. And yeah, just like try to, like pretty much that story you said, I guess my advice is just try to write it word for word. And then your brain will think of like certain punchlines. Because gotcha. then it'll keep everybody entertained as you're explaining everybody okay. uh, this story. So yeah. Okay. Awesome. I think what will help you when you're writing is you need to write in bullet points because mm. you're kind of assuming that we are like that we know what you're talking about. Okay. And even though I'm Muslim and I know co- you, you weren't telling it in a storytelling manner that was like point details, point details. So your premise needs to be a lot more clear. And if you make a clearer premise, then the audience will be able to relate because even if they can't relate to being Muslim, you're like the weird thing about like being a teacher in a very conservative school is I can't be myself. Mm -hmm. And then that premise is very relatable. And then you go into like the specifics of your experience and then we are along for that. But I cut, we couldn't really tell what you were talking about. So make sure that your premise is like your thesis statement. So thesis statement and then the story or the anecdote or the, the joke or the punchline and then thesis statement and then keep going that way soon enough, you'll get fluid. So it'll just be a story, but like that's kind of where we got lost throughout it. Okay. That's helpful. Good job though. Yeah, All right. Like your link tree. It's your what? Bot, nothing. It's a. It's an OnlyFans joke. You look like you, you have an OnlyFans. Oh I'm gonna God. die. Wow. I, I, all right. I suck. I suck. Man, are, guys, are we misogynists? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh no. I mean, I'm the oh, second no. woman on stage huh? out of 13 comics. No. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, we're, we're Arab. We're gonna get it. Yeah. That comes naturally. Yeah, yeah. We get nicked with it. Come yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, doing I'll take our best. I'll take points this time. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. What do you guys think it score was? I think the idea of you're too bad of a teacher to convert a class to Islam is so funny. Thank you. And it feels like if you can just, I feel like if you can just even like just say that sentence or something, like it's the the idea of the joke is so funny. But they kind of just, I think there's a really funny set in there. But it feels like you're missing it by a bit. I'm gonna go four, but okay. I could easily see the same set going way higher. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. for sure. Four. Oh, four. Okay. Okay. What are you thinking? I think 100 because you're a woman. Oh. And no, 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 because that's misogynistic. Uh, <laughs> it goes both ways. I don't mind misogyny. That's okay, uh, Reem. Keep going. <laughs> I agree with what you're saying. I think I don't want you to go home and trash this because it's not. Right, right. Of course it, not. Yeah, I want you to go home and be like, okay, how do I just make, how do I present this in a different yeah. way? Um, so I'll say, I'll say five because it's 50% there. Okay, what are you thinking? Uh, I'll also f- say five because there's five pillars of Islam and, <laughs> and one of them is the Shahada. So here you go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you get wow. five. I love that. I'm gonna I love go that. Also, so why I said five. Okay. Five. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't quite make the leader, but we right. noise for Adam, everybody. Thank you, guys. Right. Right. Yeah. Keep going for also, you know what? Before the finals, just come on up. You yeah, yeah. C- yeah, just do it. I feel like we fucking, we did you dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come make on up. Yeah, do 10. Make some noise for What's your name, by the way? Jessica. All right, Jessica. Hell yeah. Guys, make some noise for Jessica, everybody. Thank you. So, all right, guys, I'm single, and I recently joined the dating apps. And, um, you know, it's fun. They give you these little writing prompts to fill out. Like, I'm weirdly attracted to. And then you complete the sentence. Well, I've noticed that a lot of men are weirdly attracted to boobs. (laughs) I don't think some of you guys know what weird means. I did come across this guy who was weirdly attracted to when a girl does a really long pee. Huh. He understood the assignment. <laughs> that is fucking weird. So yeah, I'm going out with him this week. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I have a huge bladder. <laughs> so I, I was dating this guy for a while and uh, one day he goes, hey babe, you know who you look like? I was like, I don't know. Anne Hathaway? He's like, no, Tobey Maguire. (laughs) 
just what I want to hear from the guy I'm sleeping with. You look like the least attractive Spider-Man. Anyway, I'm going to blame this on my dad because... So my parents got divorced when I was a kid, and at one point my dad got really into online dating, and one of my chores was to go through his matches and flag all of the hot ones. (laughs) Most kids just had to keep their rooms clean, not me. I'm over here organizing women by their cleavage size. It was pretty fun though, you know, I called it mommy shopping. I'd be like, this one has weird hair. He goes, well, hang on. Says that her body type is voluptuous. That means she's got big knockers, right? I'm like, oh, good call, bro. <laughs> Just a couple of fuck boys, me and my dad. And then I, I would like try to message them sometimes, but I would want to sound like my dad, so I'd be like, greetings, Barbara. <laughs> so you went to Harvard Law School, very impressive. Now tell me about your butt. <laughs> And then he would actually make me go on the dates with him. Yeah, so this one lady was like, yeah, bring your little one along, sure. She probably thought I was like five, right? But uh, at this point, I'm pushing high school. So we roll up to the Cheesecake Factory. She goes, whoa, how old is your daughter? I'm like, what's up, Barb? (laughs) Nice mullet. Also, you're not as voluptuous as we had hoped. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. Give it up for Jessica. Very funny. Damn. You were catfishing women as your father. (laughs) Yeah. That's sick as hell. That's so funny. That's so cool of you to do. Yeah, unfortunately, this is like 95% true. What's the 5% lie? (laughs) Her knockers were fucked. Yeah, Yeah, the knockers were great. They were sick. (laughs) So, did you get your dad late ever? Yeah, that's, oh, a, no. that's another story for another time, perhaps. No way. Is it sad or funny? <laughs> well, it depends whose perspective you look at it from. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that means sad. Sad for me. <laughs> oh. No way. Were you at anything? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, man. I think that I really loved the second half of your uh, joke a lot. It was so uh, it was so personal. It was so fun. I was like locked in for the story. I thought it was great. I think I might. I just don't want to even comment on it at the beginning because I think I might have just misheard what you said. I was a little okay. confused by the weirdly attractive d- to boobs thing because that just doesn't seem like that's accurate you know is that what's actually happening like okay yeah i get yeah well it won't always be boobs it'll be like a nice smile like that's but it's, we- it's supposed like to be a traditionally weird, attractive you know? thing yeah. right yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. but I, yeah. I could be clearer with that for sure yeah i think yeah 100 percent. just find something that is like more i don't know that just sounds a little bit more realistic because it took me out just a little bit like, have any okay. of the guys in this room ever but i'm weirdly attracted to and then boobs or something like boobs Nice. Well, I was gonna say nice. with that one because people <laughs> people did laugh at the boobs punchline. Like it did take you off, but you could do like a rule of three, like two realistics and then one like boobs or whatever. Okay. Um, and definitely when you said like like you could open with like not to brag, I have a huge bladder, and you can say and that was my opening message, <laughs> and then it's like we're in love or something like that. But there is a lot more okay, like. Got it. Meat on the bone. And definitely, yeah, the plus one as your, the be your dad's plus one. Yeah, sorry, my fans. But yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> there's hey, still. Don't, you don't get to claim them. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <That's fun. laughs> no, but uh, there's still, like, the being your dad's plus one. W- was it from, like, eHarmony? Yeah. It was eHarmony. Yeah, wow. definitely. Yeah. Say it was eHarmony. That's so Because funny, that yeah. just, okay. like, opened, because I was guessing what? If you just say eHarmony, that, like, a lot of people are like, oh, shit, yeah. like, this okay. must that be is, really good. That yeah. is funny to bring your daughter on a date with you. Oh, like, with e See, I do get laid yeah. at least once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Look at my yeah. daughter. Yeah, yeah. So. And if there, it feels like, and obviously this is like, funny. That is funny. It's <laughs> yours to have. That yeah. is funny. If there's a way to, at the end of it, tie it back, like, comparing, like, the differences between being your dad on a dating app and being you on a dating app. Like, I feel like there's a world there where there's some, I don't know what it would be. Okay. But if you can, like, you know, draw the pillows, like, maybe it's easier as your dad, harder as your dad, or whatever, like, it feels like that connection at the end of it would tie the whole thing back together, and I think it would make, this side was already very cohesive, but I think they would really, like, put a bow on it at the end. I think okay. it's really funny with, first of all, I'm so happy that you went up. Thank you for oh, um, thank being you. here. 
Uh, I, I realized, yeah, I did it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> taking full credit. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't need to be here. Wow. <laughs> wow I'm thank, hey, thank you. Thank Demetrius for her sacrifice. Thank you. Please. Yeah, thank you, Demetrius. <laughs> thank you all. Great, <laughs> great job. Great job. <laughs> you. you did good. Yeah. Um, I think it could be so funny because you know how like guys never look like their pictures, but like you wouldn't look like your picture because you're like ten years older than what he presented you as. So something <laughs> like that. Okay. Um, I also I also bumped on the weirdly attracted to boobs because I was like no one would say that, but okay. I think if you <laughs> would uh, <laughs> could find she's like I would um, if you could find a way to to basically convey that like guys all are basically saying that they're weirdly attracted to boobs but are finding different ways to say it. He's like weirdly attracted to the upper torso area <laughs> or okay, like okay, yeah. really attracted to like hamburger buns. I don't know something that's like they're all basically talking about boobs but they. It's right, less right. overt. Okay. Um, and then I think well, flag hot ones tie boobs back. What the fuck does this mean? Um, oh, I thought like when your dad, uh, when you were flagging things for your dad, I thought you could have a nice callback there where it's like, well, dad, what are you into? And he's like, well, I'm weirdly attracted to boobs. I think that could be a fun <laughs> callback. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, yeah, one more. Sure. And, and it's the fact that you like for so many years, you helped your dad hit on women. So now you're a grown woman in the dating field. You hit on men the way you hit on women. You okay, know what I mean? Yeah, like maybe like it's that, like, yeah. like that is, that is just how you know, because that's all you know. You know what I mean? Okay. It's like, <laughs> Hey, smile more or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know what your sexual orientation is, but it'd be really funny if it kind of like impacted that because you're so good at hitting on women that now like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you date women or you don't date women, whatever that is. I think it could right. have like lasting impact, so that could be funny. Okay. Yeah, also with the uh, Tobey Maguire thing, you got to just make a Spider-Man joke. There's so much material there to just make a Spider-Man joke. Did. Huh? She did make a Spider-Man joke. She said that she looks like the least attractive one, but I feel like there's a lot of jokes that you can make about spider There's more to okay. be done with that one. I think that it is funny because I do see it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. do. I yeah. definitely yeah. do see it a little bit. It's like Tobey Maguire mixed with like an elf who wants to be a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something like that. <laughs> You're very cheery. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe a gambling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was great, man. I thought it was great. That being said, I'm going to give that one. I'm going to give it a seven. I liked it. I really like especially the second half. I liked it a lot. Yeah, the second half really held it all together. I'm going to go 7.5. Uh, nice. Yeah, you're very likable, confident. I'm also giving you a nine. Whoa. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold Some on. high scores. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, sorry, what was your name again? Jessica, guys, give it up for Jessica one more time. And now we're on to the finals. Well, talk amongst yourself for oh, a wait, couple Demetrius seconds. has to figure out who's in the finals because he doesn't keep track of it. Yeah, math is hard, you know? Oh, you haven't watched the show? No. No, so, so the top three come up, and then they each tell one remaining joke, and then the audience chooses who's the winner and gets yeah, the prize money. Yeah, you guys get to pick who wins. Isn't yeah. that fucked up? <laughs> All of you. So much. Hey, no pressure whatsoever, huh? This, yeah. this has never happened before, but we have a three-way tie for third. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, did she leave? Yeah, she did, right? Oh, is Aaron Defke still in the room? No, Aaron left. Okay, Aaron left. Okay, so we have a two-way tie for third, and that has happened before. Okay, <laughs> so what we'll we're going to normal. Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to go from the bottom of the leaderboard to the top of the leaderboard. At the top of the leaderboard, we have Brennan Smith. Uh, at the next, we are going to have uh, Karthik, and then we got Daisuke and Jessica uh, for tying for third place. So you know what? She was just on the stage. Go ahead, put your hands together once again for Jessica, everybody. One Woo! joke, just one Thank joke from one Jessica. Joke. A time limit or just there's one not joke? a time limit but just one okay. joke all right um okay so i got my period when i was really young i was nine it's very young um i didn't know what was going on so i was like dad i think i broke my front butt <laughs> he didn't know what a period was either he's like you know kiddo actually men have something very similar that we have to live with called an erection <laughs> so I grew up thinking those were the same thing. <laughs> I uh, one time I had a friend over and um my dad like wouldn't take us to the movies or something and she goes, "God, your dad's in such a mood." I'm like, "Yeah, tell me about it." <laughs> He's had a raging boner all week. <laughs> her mom didn't let her come over anymore. Yeah. So then, all right, I'm 16 years old, about to lose my virginity. He takes his boxers off. I'm like, oh, great. Your dick is hard. 
Obviously, I'm not having sex with you while you're on your erection. I'm not a fucking animal, Brad. I was a virgin for six more years. All right, that's it. All right, right, make some noise for Jessica. Let's keep that energy going as Daisuke comes to the stage, everybody. So coming out, coming out takes a lot of courage, you know. A friend came out to me as gay. He asked her if we could still be friends. I said, of course. So, yeah. So, another friend, after hearing his coming out, another friend came out as transgender, asking if we could still be friends as well. I said, of course. Their bravery inspired me to come out too. I am a huge fan of Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Not the Dave Chappelle of the past, <laughs> but the Dave Chappelle of today. <laughs> He's the best right now. He's the best right now. <laughs> and then I lost all my friends. Thank you. All right, make some noise for Daisuke. Let's keep that energy going for Karthik as he comes to the stage. Thank you. I, uh, I'm from the South originally. My parents, they moved from like India to Texas, so they've moved from conservative to conservative, right? So whenever I go visit them, I try to, you know, like educate them on like issues of the world. Um, like last time I was down there, I showed my mom this movie, Moonlight. Uh, if you don't know, Oscar-winning movie about gay men, right? I, uh, I asked my mom what she thought about it afterwards, and she was like, honestly, I loved it, because I know it's just a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, that wasn't Jurassic Park, right? Like, yeah. These are real. They walk among us. Like, I live in Bushwick. Half my neighbors are Triceratops. You know? <laughs> and the other half are Triceratops, dude. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of long necks and deep throats, you know? It's... <laughs> It's a good time. I got 20 more. All right, that's it. <laughs> Make some noise for Karthik. And our final comedian of the stage. Make some noise for Brendan Smith, everybody. So, guys, I don't tell a lot of stories, but I'll tell you the story right now of how my family went through COVID. Because when my family went through COVID, my dad became like a crazy doomsday prepper. He was like putting bottles of water and like toilet paper in the basement, stockpiling. And he called me one of those days when I was coming back from college. He's like, Brendan, can I get rid of your Scooby-Doo bed sheets? And I'm like, yeah, I got new bed sheets I'll just bring home. But what I didn't realize is he had a friend who was a seamstress, and she made masks out of all my Scooby-Doo stuff. <laughs> so all my friends and family were sending me selfies of, like, Mystery Machine and Shaggy Designs. They were thanking me. And, like, here's the thing. That sounds really sweet, but those are my bed sheets from high school. <laughs> so I just got home my entire family wearing my puberty all over their face. Just... <laughs> Just inhaling it. And like, <laughs> and like, I know they washed it, but I'll always know. I'll always know. And honestly, I would have felt a lot better if they all just caught COVID. Like that. Okay, that's all. Yeah. All right, make some noise to Brendan Smith. Please stay on the stage. You can throw the mic back in the mic stand. All right, the way this works is all the comedians who are in the finals are going to come back on the stage. So Daisuke, Karthik, and Jessica, please come back to the stage. All right, uh, the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna go from fucking left to right, and you're only gonna clap for the person who you wanna take home this, like, basically 200 fucking dollars. Right, you, get, you guys got it? Make some noise for me if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, Austin, can you whip out that big ass money wad? <laughs> Hell yeah, somebody's gonna go home with it. It takes so long to make $200 instead. I'm only losing money on this show, so it does hurt me every week to give all of this away. But uh, once again, when I say your person's name, only clap for that person and go absolutely fucking crazy because I don't want to have to do this again, okay? Are you ready? Okay, if you think Karthik should take home the money, make some noise for Karthik, everybody. (laughs) Hell yeah, that's pretty good. If you think Brendan should take home the money, make some noise for Brendan, everybody. (laughs) Sounds identical. Okay, if you think Jessica should take home the money, make some noise for Jessica right now. (laughs) That's pretty good. If you think Daisuke should take home the money, make some noise for Daisuke, everybody. It's looking like Jessica. All right, congratulations, Jessica. You just won the comedy lottery. Hell yeah. And thank you all.